So Mercedes have become the latest manufacturer to retreat on their electric vehicle plans in favour of making more petrol and diesel engines. Now they're not the first manufacturer to do this, but in this video we're going to talk about why it's particularly significant. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you enjoy this type of content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the like button, and as always, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Okay, let's not hang about, we'll get right into this report. So, Mercedes-Benz is backing away from its ambitious electric vehicle target amid weakening sales of electric cars. Despite the improved customer sentiments towards electric vehicles, I'm not sure about that one, global EV sales have witnessed a slump in the recent past owing to various issues like price hikes, slowdown of new model launches, ending or shrinking government financial supports, etc. Amid this challenging situation, the German luxury car maker is finding itself struggling to boost profit through EV sales. Hence, Mercedes-Benz is resorting to the tried and tested internal combustion engine, claimed a Bloomberg report. Interestingly, Mercedes-Benz is not the only car maker feeling the heat of the weaker demand for electric vehicles. Several other auto OEMs too have witnessed dumping sales. That's some weird wording, but okay. Several governments around the world are either closing or shrinking their lucrative financial support schemes for electric vehicles. True. Besides that, the sluggish development of EV charging infrastructure and the rising cost of acquisition for electric vehicles are also impacting the sales in this space. So, I mean, the bottom line is they aren't selling. The profits are suffering as a result. And if you have a look at Mercedes finances, they actually slipped into the 9% region for their margin. That's the lowest it's been in two years and way below their long-term average. And they aren't the first to take this stance. The Toyota chairman famously said he believes that battery-powered electric vehicles will only ever count for up to 30% of the market share. That's maximum, with the rest being made up of traditionally fueled cars, hybrids and hydrogen-powered cars. And their results from the commitment to internal combustion are fantastic. They're creating some incredibly clean engines alongside other technologies like their filter, which actually removes carbon from the air. Now, this was fitted to a hydrogen internal combustion engine, technically producing a carbon negative vehicle. Meanwhile, Ford continued to file patents for new, innovative, cleaner-than-ever internal combustion engines, showing us that R&D for non-electric vehicles is alive and well there. It must be said, the biggest casualty of this incessant EV push has to be the further development that we've now missed out on for the internal combustion engine. But at least, thanks to the likes of Toyota, Ford and now Mercedes, it's being kept alive with novel new solutions. Now a question back for you, do you think we're going to see more manufacturers follow this path, backtrack on their EV plans and place more of their chips back with the internal combustion engine? Do you think Tesla's next car is going to have a V8? Fat chance on that one, but if like me you're going to be buying used vehicles for some time to come, let me give you a quick tip here. Usevehiclescore.co.uk, free service, you can check out any car you like, EV or non-EV, it'll tell you all the good and bad points for not a penny. They do do paid HPI reports, I really recommend you use one of these. Here's a 15% discount voucher on screen and in the description below so you have no excuse. Now thank you so much for watching. Please do hit that subscribe button, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and I'll see you for the next one.